you've come so far. Hello and welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and welcome to my channel. I'd absolutely love it if you would consider subscribing or liking this video or commenting any of your thoughts down below. If you'd like to know about my makeup, it was done by Makeup by Monty at Mecca Chermside. If you're a Brisbane, check her out. She's amazing. But today's video is five indie brands I want to try but haven't because talking about makeup is fun. These are a lot of brands that I've really like gone back and forth over a lot about if I want to buy it. <laughs> I spend way too long. The first one I'm going to start off with is Blush Tribe Cosmetics. They, I'm not sure where I saw their first product, but the Hasina 2 palette has really been popping and I'm sure you've seen that everywhere. They're UK based, Desi owned. I love their palette designs, like the graphics they do. They're really cool. They've got really cool colors and it looks like everyone has loved them. But the thing that has put me off buying from them is the pre-orders. I hate pre-ordering. I don't understand why anyone does it. Like, just have the product in stock and I'll buy it. And if it runs out, that's whatever. I hate pre-ordering. There's too much build up for me. There's like ordering it and then waiting, waiting, waiting for like an unknown amount of time for them to come. They're based in the UK, they are cruelty free and they are made in China. They do look amazing. The Blossom palette looks the boringest, but that Hasina 2 looks just amazing with the purples and the greens. I would love to try it, but yeah, the pre-orders put me off too much. And at this moment, I feel like the palette's kind of overdone. I don't, I'd be more curious, I think, to try and dupe it out in my current products and see if I can recreate the looks. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole reason I haven't bought from Blush Tribe, is their pre-orders. Another company that I've been following is September Rose. They are a black owned indie makeup brand and they ship worldwide from the UK. They're cruelty free. And I think it's the Slush palette. Yes, I'll put it up here. That really caught my eye. I'm not sure why I didn't buy it, to be honest. I've looked at it so many times and I'm an odd. I think because they've only got one palette I think I saw it and I wanted it for a minute and then I was like, meh. Yeah, I feel like their aesthetics were cool. It looked really cool when it first came out, but then it started looking like everything else because there's so many colorful palettes on the market and I just wasn't willing to risk buying from them, to be honest. I didn't know what shipping was. I didn't see anything about that. I didn't know, like it just didn't seem worthwhile in the end. Another brand that I've been eyeing out for a really long time, and this is Strobe Cosmetics. They're huge at the moment. They've just released the Divinity palette. And I was so close to buying it. So close. I think they've still got their sale on at the moment. Yeah, it ends the end of the month and you put in October Ween, 20% off. And that would make the palette for me the normal price it would be with shipping, I think. Really, really want to try the Creepy Cute palette. That looks adorable. The strawberry milk, the take a hint shade, those blues, that purple. It looks stunning. I really want to try it, but I'm not, I really hate the exterior packaging and it's such a stupid thing to hate, but I hate it. I don't think it's creepy or cute. I don't get it. Is this like an aesthetic? Is this like, is this, yeah, it's creepy cute, a thing that I've never, heard of before this palette because I don't get it. I don't think it's creepy and I don't think it's cute. I just hate that exterior packaging. The Divinity palette is definitely more my packaging aesthetics and I do the yellow shade and it looks beautiful. It just is a lot more, it's a lot more neutral for me, which is funny to say because it's got a few colors in there. It does look really nice. Oh, they also have the pre-order problem. <laughs> They do a lot of pre they did pre-orders for the Divinity palette and the pre-orders just put a bad taste in my mouth really to be honest. So they have a really cool background story with the owner who 
used to make her own eyeshadows and then I believe they would now be getting them made in a lab and the color ranges that they choose really are amazing and if it wasn't for the pre-orders and the fact that I hate that exterior packaging on Creepy Cute I think I would have already bought them by now another indie brand that I've been eyeing out for a long time and if you know anything about this brand you'll know exactly why I haven't bought from them and it's Sionde Cosmetics I originally saw them with the Paleo palette when that first came out oh Cle Cleona? Cleona Cosmetics they're a indie brand from Toronto who make their own eyeshadows and they also hand paint the palettes the Palio palette is the first one that caught my attention and then it was the Arkeo palette they look amazing and I love the aesthetics of these palettes what's put me off is not knowing what the texture of the box is like is it all bumpy and shitty like is it is it high quality painted and streamlined have they done like a glossy taco on it or is it just paint that will chip off is it all scratchy I don't know and pre-orders these guys pre-order for the life of it I'm pretty sure they do pre-orders and then they order all the stock in with how long it looked like it took last time and I just I can't be bothered waiting that long for eyeshadow palettes there's so many coming out and the smallest thing these days will turn me off buying something I do really want to try them later on. I'm waiting for them to be a bit more established and to see a quicker turnaround from when the palette goes online for purchase and when it gets sent out. They look like they have amazing customer service and I'm definitely keen to try them. Another one that's really caught my attention is the Nomad Cosmetics people and they just came out with the Berlin Underground palette and that palette just looks really cool. I just really like it. They've got some really cool ideas. They are PETA certified. I believe they're designed in Italy, but they've got this whole thing where they base the eyeshadow palettes on where they've been. And like, I don't really get it. I don't really get the theme. I don't get how it relates. Like in Berlin underground, poor but sexy. Are a lot of people in Berlin poor? I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure. But they do look amazing and I've not seen a bad review about them. They have definitely caught my attention with the Berlin Underground palette. Those weird face palettes look a bit odd that they released. But the Antilles palette and the Berlin Underground have come out. I believe Angelica Nyquist has them. I mean she has like every indie brand ever. So I just go watch her. They look really cool. I love the packaging. But I didn't really get the theming idea. I think it was more obvious in the face palettes that it was based on a place they've been. I think I'd like to see more like... What is Antilles even based on? Oh, the Caribbean. So Antilles is based on the Caribbean. The first shade I'm seeing is the pink. It's called Playa Flamenco? Flamenco? Is that a saying in the Caribbean? Like, couldn't it have just been Flamenco? I mean I, I like I love that they stamp the eyeshadows with a design as well that's like my favorite thing that you can do to an eyeshadow palette it looks cool I want it it just it like there's something about them that stops me wanting to purchase them I think I haven't seen much of their online actual presence and it doesn't say where they're made I'm just not sure what their whole vibe is doesn't make complete sense to me another one that I was eyeing off and I did actually end up purchasing and that I've done like three videos on now is the Kush Queen palette what well, was Peachy Queen blog who came out with the Kush Queen palette they also came out with the Clueless palette and the so there's pumpkin spice palette they have some really cool ideas I wouldn't I wouldn't really recommend this palette they advertise mink lashes on their page despite being cruelty free and yeah it doesn't say where they're made 
I'm just, you know, I do, I, I, but I do have to say their social media presence is banging. Peachy Queen seems very nice. And yeah, I feel bad saying any of this. I like their aesthetic. I found their customer service a little bit difficult to, to work around. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for my swatch stickers that never came. So I don't know. It just is one of those things. I mean, feel free to try and talk me into buying any of these palettes. I'd love to know your thoughts, especially if you've tried like the Nomad and is Cle Cleon de Cleon D cosmetics. Are they worth like those long waits that they have? Should I just get over my pre-order thing? I think I think I'm happy not getting over it because it saves me money in the long run. And it just it makes me mad that people are buying products that aren't even made yet. As well, like really. I feel like what the companies are actually doing is collecting your money and then from the money that they're getting they are then making the palettes in after rather than a normal like company which will make the palettes have the amount of stock on hand and then sell them because there's no other reason to have such a long delay and I feel like while pre-orders can build hype and I think they're necessary if you've got good quality products. And really, I don't think there's anything that wrong with doing staggered releases, as long as you're open about them. I don't know. Uh, I like, and I really like it if a company says how many parts they've got, and then you find out like they sold them all out in release date. Like, how exciting is that for the company? Whereas with a pre-order, I feel like the consumer spends money and they don't get it back. Like they don't see a return on their money instantly or quickly. I'm always happy to wait like a week or something for makeup, but waiting three plus weeks. Nah, mate, I'm not, I'm not about that life. Do let me know if you've had any pre-order experiences. I'd absolutely love to hear them. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe, like, comment. I really appreciate your time. Thank you.